fuck you mean, bro? You got that right up in the go live, bro. You can count this motherfucker down, bro. They go live right now, bro. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Tito Baba Show. I know this y'all first time here. This is my first time doing it for y'all. So, you know, we are gonna jump off on the right feet. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all wanna hear with me. So, with shit. Apparently, people like that. Y'all know I went out in Atlanta. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, people like to hear me talk shit. So, this is the first part of the show where I talk about the local events, what's going on, who doing what, who doing what. So, I wasn't in town last weekend. I was in Atlanta, so I missed a lot. But in Atlanta, everything going down. All the clubs jumping. You ain't got to worry about not going to this club because it ain't going to be jumping or not going here. All of it's jumping. Everything. Unlike here, I don't know what's going on. Club A said they was going to open up and give us a new environment. It ain't nothing new about Club A. It ain't. Y'all yeah, might want to stay here. Might as well. It's the same shit. A different day. So, let me see what else is going on. Sugar. Oh. <laughs> Y'all know Sugar took on Club VBS One Crowd, Old Shotgun Willis. They putting bitches out at 5 and 4 o'clock. Stop it. First of all, bb one s one ain't never put nobody out. They let them stand there like the motherfucking rules say till the motherfucking sun come up. So we don't let you know that. Okay, sugar's not staying open. Yeah, no, they're not doing bb one thing. They're not staying open till the next day. They just stand open a little late until the manager get sleepy, which is around 4:35. Okay, I will talk about the strip club, but I'm not gonna do that on this show. I'm just cut that short. That was enough. And you know, I'm not gonna get nobody. Everybody cool. You know what I'm saying? Tonight I'm going to 8 by MJG up in Ace. You know, it's gonna pop out. I'm being Gucci. You know, I'm Mississippi. I fuck with everybody. But I'm gonna talk a little shit about everybody too. I don't mean no harm. So I'm gonna cut to first segment of my show. Stay tuned. back to Tina Baba all the way live the topic of today's show will be niggas acting like bitches like that that's just I decided for that to be my first topic because first of all dudes always ask me why I talk about dudes I don't know cuz I fuck with niggas that's what I deal with that's why I be around every day a nigga so that's why majority of the time I talk about niggas. Like I don't talk about, I don't do girls. Y'all do girls. So y'all know what's wrong with them. I don't, I don't really be around them like that. But believe you me, they will get that chance. I don't, nah, I ain't discriminating or nothing now. I'm just saying. Second, I, it's a bitch is the problem too. Let me tell y'all why. These bitches allow this shit to happen. Cause they should stop this shit when they see that shit happening. You see that little boy walking around in your shoes, slap his ass down to the ground and say, get out my motherfucking shoes. You was a damn boy, Damon. Or whatever his damn name is, let his ass know. Second of all, when you see your old man, your brother, your cousin, little nephew, anybody squeeze they ass in some tight ass red, or pink jeans that you know your ass should be in you let his ass know don't no don't sugarcoat it don't be he 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 that's cute babe no it's not that's gay babe i'm here let you know that that's gay y'all stop letting them know that it's thing is cute stop condoning the men acting like women shit and then how, if you allow them to do it, they'll think it's cute. If we if we all ban against they asses and don't get a weak ass no play for looking like a fucking faggot, they asses will stop doing that bullshit. Cause it's bullshit. 
Second of all, what do these guys think when they go in the dressing room and put on these tight ass pants? Like, ooh, girl, my ass look fierce in these. Y'all don't think that's gay? Y'all think that's normal? You you think that's okay? Fuck no. If a nigga of mine come out the restroom in some tight ass pants, first of all, I'm roll over and hit the flow. Cause first of all, I'm be like, God damn. I done fucked around and fucked a faggot. Kate never say I ain't did that before no more. Second, I'm gonna be like, bitch. Because you know I'm calling a bitch. Cause that was the fuck he acting like, bitch. The fuck you think you go with them tight ass, pink ass pants on? Talking about you swagging. No, bitch. That's not swagging. That's being a bitch. Or a faggot. Whatever. What I. Ooh. That's so unattractive. Then you got the other ones. I call them the other ones because they still fags. They just giving or taking. I don't, I don't know which way it go. But either way, they be giving or taking. So the other side decided to sag theirs a little bit. So now you got your dirty ass boxers showing. They got a hole in the front and the back because you was a fag, remember? Yeah, we just, we're going to stop that. We, that's, we not going to condone that. Okay, ladies? <laughs> Tina Baba said, y'all can tell them I said it. I ain't never scared. I stay strapped. Tina Baba said, you can't wear them tight ass jeans. You a boy, Damon. Tell them I said it. Second, when y'all hear y'all men gossiping, on the phone like a bitch tell his ass bitch get off the fucking phone gossiping like a bitch because that's what you acting like i know y'all wondering like why the fuck she keep telling me to tell call my old man a bitch he gonna slap the shit out of me if he slap you slap his ass back because guess what he slapped like a bitch because apparently you dating a man that's a bitch so you let his ass know don't be gossiping on no phone like no damn. First of all, if your man stay over the phone, I done talked to plenty of men. I ain't never dated a guy that stayed on the phone more than 10 minutes. If his ass on the phone more than 10 minutes, I'm, mm-hmm, uh-uh. Slap his ass and that regular ass phone, cause that's bitch tendencies. No, no, no. You is a boy, Damon. Ladies, if you gossip, to your man and he listens it's kind of faggish just saying that's gay like i done tried to tell my dude plenty of times and not the same dude that's how i know this shit not normal they be like i don't want to hear that shit i'd be like oh <laughs> can't tell him because i wish i get my sister in the car i tell her because men don't want to hear that shit shit not normal men don't want to hear about let me tell you about these shoes I had seen that my friend had on. I can't believe she went back and bought them. Bitch. Because he going to call you. What you acting? Bitch. I don't want to hear that. That's why sometimes it's okay for your man to call you a bitch. Because that's what you be acting like. So let's flip the script and let them know when they start acting like bitches. We're going to give them a tampon. Or we're going to let them know they're acting like a bitch. All that fucking gossiping. You're acting like a bitch. Third of all. Cause these men don't know what gay is, apparently. They always saying what's gay and what's not gay. And don't know what's really gay cause you doing it. You can't be talking about women. Really. So are you gonna say these, these I, let, me, let me tell you what this girl did to me. I can't stand hoes like this. Boy, shut your faggot ass up. Why is you still fucking girls? Why is they still allowing you to fuck them? Because you was a gay ass fuck boy. That means you takes the dick, FYI. That's the kind that takes the dick. The one that sit up and bitch and moan about women. They ain't shit. Bitch, shut up. Damn. I don't be wanting to hear what my homegirl talking about her nigga. You think, oh, now nah, I'm going to deal with it from the nigga's friend. Fuck no. Nah. Nigga, you a fag. Get out of my car. I ain't fuck with you no more. Fuck now, nah, you a fag. Don't hang around, fag. They cool. Okay, wait a minute. Let me say this. My sister's friends are cool. I love them to death. Love all y'all. You fierce, girl, you fierce. I'm just saying for these ones that be fake jacking that like they real niggas. And you ain't real. We see all that fag activity coming out your ass. So you might as well just let everybody know that you done flipped the script. Leave that fake ass freak you with and go on, on and be with the fag that we know you fucking anyway. Okay? Stop getting a... F and why would you a... Why when you're an undercover fag, you always get a freaky bitch. 
the freakiest bitch. And then people be wondering, what? Girl, she got a man. Bitch, she got a bitch. Y'all so crazy. Start paying attention to shit. He prettier than her. Getting his hair permed and shit, trying to curl it up. Nigga, cause you, nigga, faggot ass. Think cause you light skinned, you can perm your hair and try to curl up. And we gonna think that shit next. Nigga, your ass ain't mixed with shit. Mixed with what? Dirt and all? Your ass ain't mixed. Your ass is a faggot. Perm your damn hair, trying to get some curls, make everybody think you light skinned with good hair. Bitch, you's a faggot with a perm. That's what you is. Your freak ass girlfriend know it. Ooh. So, let me see what else that these niggas do. Women, I need y'all to stop condoning the shit. The shit is not, don't, don't think it's cute. Oh, girl. <laughs> girl, my baby said, if your bitch saying your baby said and she find it cute and hilarious, it ain't cute and hilarious. Your ass is a fag and you need to fix that shit. If, and this is the end of it and I'm gonna let this show go. If you find yourself doing any of these gay activities and you really are not gay, can you fix that, please? Thank you. Because then I would know you were just doing gay shit and apparently didn't know any better. Now, after you see this and you still doing it, ladies, show him this and he's still doing it. His ass gay. You better kick his ass to the curb for both of y'all. Y'all get committed and start fucking with that rope and now you guys, he got it. Everybody die. You see what I'm saying? Why? We ain't even gotta go through all that. So, this is the end of my first show. See y'all on my next show. This is Tina Bopper all the way live. Peace to What's up? I just wanted to let y'all know. Thank y'all for tuning in. I will see y'all next show. The topic of the next show, I'm going to talk about it. Let's talk about deadbeat baby daddies. We're going to throw the baby mamas in there just so don't nobody. You know what even feel like. Since it's the beginning of the show, we're going to get everybody a little, you know, a little chance. So we're going to talk about deadbeat baby mamas and baby daddies. Now we're going to talk about the hottest. What I feel is the hottest. First of all, like, y'all are like, Y'all already know the hottest club in the city right now. And when I say hottest, I mean the one that got the most consumers. I don't even know. I don't know because I ain't been in there a minute. But the hottest club in the city right now is Club Q. Second of all, the hottest, the hottest song. I got two hottest songs. So take it to the head, Chris Brown go. Oh, take it to the head. And that. Waka Flocka, that I don't, I don't care, I don't really care. Throwing money in the air like I don't really care. That's Club Bank. When either one of these other clubs start playing that song, maybe they can get a crowd. And yeah, that is a strip club bank. Sex third. Um, the hottest strip club in the city right now would have, in my opinion, sorry kids, it ain't true. It's club bank. I don't know though. Yeah, it's the kind of year. Like all the hood people in there. Like you want to see hood people and a couple hood hoes do butt ass naked. What you talking about? But it only jumped on Thursday. Well, it only to jump. Just ain't going out on the morning and just putting in straight jump. And then hit me up on Facebook saying, "Bitch, I'm talking about saying doing this." Bitch, I said on Thursday. I didn't say nothing about that other other night. I said Thursday, go about jump. If you want to see some. Good folks, it's a good hoes, but ass naked. Don't go on that time of something you said some bad ass. Oh, I did not say that. Now, I said what I said. So that's the hot topic for this week. So next week I'ma tune in, and it may be another spot hot, cause that's the way Mobile is. Mobile got spots that's hot this week. Next week, talk box could be shut down, y'all. And then it's on to the next thing. Like, that's just how it is. I don't know why it's like that. It's like that, I don't 
don't know who should be in this moment. Y'all yeah, know how I go. So right now, this is what jumps. You know, everybody change some shit around there, switch out the DJs, and then, hey, you never know. It's gonna be the hottest thing in the city. That's the way it go. So, talk to y'all later. He's at. I just keep it real. <laughs>